All right, everybody, welcome to the video. My name is Scripts, and this is part two of our AI series, okay, in which I'm teaching you how to detect and track enemies in game, okay? So you're gonna be training your own model, okay, for that. Um, the game I'm currently using is PUBG, okay? And that's a game we're gonna be using throughout the entire series. Of course, you can go ahead and use any other game you want. You can train your model for any game you choose, okay? So we left off in this portion of the video in which we noticed that there's an enemy over here, okay? I also talked to you guys and I explained that I don't want to consider down enemies, okay? I don't want the AI to, to um, consider down enemies. The AI may sometimes, even though we're not actually taking images of down enemies, right? Uh, the AI may still sometimes actually um, detect it, but, um, you know, most of the time it's just going to detect standing enemies, okay? Cool. So, um, all right, now let's continue. Okay, so on the left, I have my browser right here, and on the right, I have my folder, okay? This folder is available to you on my Discord server. So you go to my Discord server, you go to the AI channel right here, you go to the AI channel right here, and right here at the bottom, you have AI tutorial. You're going to click on it, you're going to download that folder, and inside of this folder, you should have these three files. Now, um, instead of PUBG, you should have a, a folder called Yo Game, okay? You're going to rename it to whatever game you're using, okay? And uh, make sure you go back and follow that episode if you have not seen it yet. Cool. In this episode, okay, you have already gotten your 100 images, right? So make sure you have 100 images. So let me show you guys right now. So I'm going to my PUBG folder. I'm going to images. I'm going to go into side of train. And inside of train, I have 100 images, as you can see on the bottom right there. I'm going to go to Val and I have 10 images, okay? Now, the um, trick that I'm going to tell you is to always have at least 10 to 20% um, images inside of Val, okay? So you're gonna have 10% of your train images inside of Val. So let's say I have 100 images inside of train, which I do, I now should have 10 images, at least 10 images inside of Val, okay? So I should have like 10 images here. Now you should never go above 20%, so you should, you know, for 100 images inside of train, you should stay at 20 images inside of Val. You should never go above that value. So between 10 to 20% inside of Val, okay? Remember the Val images, so I don't know if I actually explained to you guys last video, but basically the Val images are high quality images. These are images that you can clearly see the enemy very clear and um, at very good distances. And I'm going to show you guys what my Val images look like. This is my first Val image. I can clearly see the enemy right there. This is my second Val image. This is my third Val image. This is my fourth Val image. This is my fifth Val image. And this is my sixth Val image. And this is my seventh Val image. This is my eighth Val image, which the enemy is right there. It's a little harder to see, so most likely this one might fail a few times, but after you train your app, it's going to get better. And this is my um, tenth, I believe, Val image. Oh, wait, there's one more. This is my tenth. Yeah, there you go. So this is my tenth Val image. Okay, so it's okay if you have one image that is kind of hard. Um, I believe this image over here is a little harder for the AI, but, you know, it should be able to detect after you have more images um, in train. Okay, cool. So those are the images that I have. In train, I have a bunch of images. I'm not going to go through all of them, but you can see here just by looking at the little preview that they all have different contexts. So like these images over here are from the same video, and then these are from a different map. These are from different distances, things like that. Most of them have a scope, but some of them don't have scope at all. Um, so, you know, just keep that in mind. You want to have different images from different distances, different angles, different everything, right? So keep that in mind. And of course, um, 100 is your minimum. If you want to go above 100 images, it's going to be even better for you, okay? So, okay. Now we're going to go to step three, I believe. Let's see here. Uh, yes, step three. Step three, we're going to be creating our bounding boxes with this website called makesense.ai. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on this link right here. Okay, so I'm over here on the website called makesense.ai. Let me actually full screen it. Okay, so over here on the website, I'm going to click get started on the bottom right. And then over here, I'm going to click right here. It says drop images or click here to select them. You're going to click right there and you're going to bring it to the folder where your images are located. Okay, so over here I have my folder now. I have AI tutorial, PUBG images, and I have two. Now, you're gonna begin with your training uh, images, okay? So you're gonna begin with training images. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna press over here, press one of them, press Control H, select all of them, make sure all images are selected, and click open. 
it's gonna say 100 images loaded okay now what are we gonna do right now let me quickly explain to you so we have images right which is very important what we're gonna do is we're gonna be creating the labels for those images and that's what the label folder is for so right now what we're gonna do is you're gonna actually um draw a bounding box for our 100 images for train we're gonna get a zip file afterwards and we're gonna throw that zip file all the contents inside of the zip file uh inside of label and then we're going to do the same thing for val so we're going to throw our val images in here we're going to get the contents for the val images for the text files and we're going to throw inside of label okay and i'm going to show you what i mean in just a little bit so keep following along okay so over here 100 images loaded i'm going to click object detection make sure you click on object detection cool and then over here it says create labels okay and what we want to do here is we're going to create the same label so make sure this part is really important okay no matter what you do the label should be this enemy Okay, so put enemy and then click start project. Type exactly like that. Okay, start project. Cool. So as you can see over here on the left, I have all my images. Okay, cool. And then in the middle over here, I have this um, little box showing my image right now that I selected. On the right, I have something called right. So let's do the first thing. So he says draw your bounding box. Okay, on the right. So let's do that right now. So let's draw a bounding box around the enemy. So what you want to do is you want to draw a bounding box that goes that gets the entire enemy. Okay, so let's do that right now. So it's from here to here. I'm going to adjust a little bit. It's okay to adjust. There you go. Okay, I'm going to do another bounding box around this enemy right here. There you go. Just like that. A little more to this side over here. Perfect. And then what you're going to do is you're going to over here on the right. It says select label. You're going to click on it and you're going to click enemy enemy you should change colors just like that and perfect okay you just suggest a little more okay it doesn't have to be perfect okay now we're gonna go to the next one so next image over here on the left you can notice that the, this previous image now has a check on it okay which means it was completed let's go back to this image now over here we have another enemy okay so let's get the enemy and it's okay i know there are leaves over here that block the view but the ai is going to be able to understand that after some time um Okay, again, it's already selected for you, enemy, right? Because it's the only one we have, so leave it at that. And now we're going to go to the next image. And you kind of have an idea what we're going to be doing here, right? So we're going to do the same thing. If you cannot see the entire enemy, it's okay. Just draw the bounding box around what you can see, okay? So but that's what I can see. The gun, you can ignore the gun. Just make sure you get the person, okay? Okay, over here, too, same thing. Okay, very good. Let's just see if that's a little much over here. Perfect. Again, same thing here. So you kind of get an idea. So I'm going to be actually um, kind of zooming through this, okay, to make it a little faster. But you have an idea of how this works now. So you're going to go through this. You want to make sure you have checks through all the images, okay? So I'm going to do it right now real quick. Okay, so I am done um, with getting all the pictures. Now, once you're done with everything, what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on actions, 
Okay, you're gonna click on export annotations right here. You're gonna click on the first option, which is a zip package containing files in YOLO format. Okay, um, export. YOLO stands for you only look once. Okay, and then once you have exported, you're gonna have this zip file over here. Now, before we actually continue anything, you wanna open this zip file. Okay, and inside of the zip file, you wanna make sure that you have 100 files. So if you like, check over here on the bottom, it says total 100 files. Make sure you have 100 files inside of the zip file over here, because that means you have the same amount of text documents as images. And that, sh that should be equal, the two numbers should be equal. If it isn't, you did something wrong. So once that's done, I'm gonna just... Okay, so right now, Right now, what you should be able to see right now is I have my zip um, file right here with a bunch of um, text documents. These were labels, by the way. All of these are labels. So that's what labels mean. And simply what they are is a text document that contains information about where the bounding box is. Okay. So I'm going to open one of the text documents. And I'm going to show you exactly what that means. So over here, this text document contains information about where the bounding box is in the image. Cool. So what we're going to do right now is... Of course, since these are labels, we are not going to put this into the images folder. We're actually going to go back one more folder and we're going to put it into the labels folder. And these are labels from what? From the train. We just use, we use the train images, right? So we're going to get all of these images. So I'm going to copy all of them. Okay, so control A. And I'm going to just simply throw it to the labels and train. Just like that. And if I now look inside of this folder, I should have 100 images, okay? And each text document should be should have the same name as your jpeg J, your jpeg your images document okay okay cool now of course since we did it to the train right we did it to train images train now we're gonna do it to images val okay so we're gonna do the same process once again to val so let me show you what that means So again, what we're going to do right now is we're going to reload the page, okay? Make sure you have exported your document, okay? Reload it. And you're going to lose everything you had when you reload. You're going to click on Get Started. Same thing again, you're going to click on Drop Images. But instead of doing Train, we're going to do Val. So as you can see right here, instead of doing Train, we're going to do Val. So I'm going to click on Val, the Val folder. I'm going to select every image, which should be only 10 or 20. Okay, I'm going to click Open. And now it says 10 images loaded. I'm going to click Object Detection. And then over here, same thing as before, I'm going to click here and I'm going to type enemy, same thing as before. Okay, and I'm going to click start projects. And now the same thing as before, you're going to basically draw your bounding box around the enemies for these 10 images. Okay, so I'm going to just look at the enemy right there. I'm going to draw a bounding box. I'm going to go over here to the top right where it says select label. I'm going to click on it and I'm going to click enemy. There you go. And I'm going to do the same thing now for these 10 images. There you go. So I have finished. What you're going to do now is you're going to click on actions. You're going to click export annotation. Same thing as before. Same. The first option right here. Export. And we're going to open that um, zip file. You should make sure that you have 10 files in here. Okay. Or 20. Okay. And then what we're going to do is you're going to do the same thing before. You're going to transfer this to the val. So again, just like before, this is not going to go into images. This is going to go inside of labels and val. Okay. Make sure you put it into the right place. Okay, and I'm going to throw them all in here. You should have 10 items in here. Okay, and you should also have 10 items inside of images in Val. The same way that you should have 100 items inside of train, images train, and you should also have 100 items inside of labels train. Okay, once you have done that, we are now ready to go into the next step of this video, which is going to be the actual training part of this video. So make sure you are here um, next Friday. And next Friday, I'm going to explain to you how that's going to work. And after we are done with the training, that same Friday, we are also going to begin the detecting. Okay. So the next Friday is going to be really exciting.